Hi, I'm John Kirkman. I'm a broadcaster and journalist based in the UK and I'd like to talk to you today about this box set. It's Andrew Gold's box set, uh, the late legendary and Andrew Gold and he is legendary because he played with so many people. Um, this box set covers the period 1975 to 1980 and contains his solo albums. Uh, on the Asylum label. Now, of course, if you know anything about the West Coast sort of music scene in the 70s, Asylum Records was a very, very important label. It was owned by David Geffen. It had people like Andrew Gold, Linda Ronstadt, whom Andrew Gold played with in her band, and the Eagles, of course. Now, Andrew Gold came from a musical family. His father, Ernest Gold, uh, wrote the music for the soundtrack of the film Exodus. His mother, Marnie Nixon, was a voice artist and she sang the voices for Natalie Wood in West Side Story, Audrey Hepburn and also Deborah Kerr, Deborah Kerr or Deborah Carr, whichever way you look at it. She was in The King and I and Audrey Hepburn was in a fantastic film and I, I, she was the voice of those particular actresses in those films. So he came from a musical family. Now here's the box inside. And I must say there's a great story. I'm surprised the picture isn't in here. When he was 13, uh, Andrew actually met the Beatles. And there was a thing you could, uh, like, I, I suppose you could pay so much money and meet the Beatles back in the day. And he went to meet the Beatles. And many years later, um, he asked a certain member, a friend of mine, I'm not going to mention him, but it was a friend of mine who worked for the Beatles and Apple. And he said, you've got to get me into Paul McCartney's band. I think Andrew would have been great in Paul's band. I have to say, wonderful musician. Great piano player and keyboard player and a great guitarist and a wonderful singer and harmony singer as well. You will find all those talents displayed to the full on this box set. So let's take this stuff out for a start. First of all, uh, you get a rather nice poster, which is all very nice in a frame, I have to say. Now, this particular poster was advertising Andrew's third album, All This In Heaven 2. Um, that was probably his most successful solo album. It spawned three hits, that particular album. And um, like I said, it looked rather nice in a frame that that's the first thing that you get in the box. Now, the other thing you get in the box is a very extensive uh, booklet with a fabulous photo on the front of uh, Andrew playing a Gretsch guitar. Gretsch guitars were pretty much de rigueur in the 60s. Lots of guitarists in bands played Gretsch, probably because... George Harrison played a Gretsch. Let's not dress this up. Uh, a lot of people were influenced by George Harrison, and I imagine that Andrew Gold was no different. Inside, there's some fantastic photos, of course, with him and various people, including Linda Ronstadt. He was a big part of the Linda Ronstadt band. Of course, when his solo career started taking off, he, he left the Ronstadt band and concentrated on his solo work. But he did go back and play and, and work with uh, Linda playing sessions and things like that. Um, of course, later on, in the 80s, he had a very successful relationship with Graham Goldman uh, of 10CC and the band Wax, and they had uh, worldwide hits with things like Bridge to Your Heart. That's the cover of the very first album, and it's a beautiful album, I have to say. Uh, the great thing about these albums is a lot of his friends and musician friends in Linda's band, like Kenny Edwards and Rick Marotta and Waddy Wachtel and people like that, and Dan Dudmore, they, they all played on these albums. And in fact, Linda Ronstadt sang back in vocals on uh, some of the album tracks and you can hear her voice she, Linda's voice really does shine out like a bell uh, on a lot of these tracks that she's singing on so as you get all the details cuttings and some fantastic pictures that's his second album and that was the album that spawned the big hit Lonely Boy and a lot of people think that particular uh, song is autobiographical but sure it's I was born in 1951 as Andrew was but he said it wasn't actually autobiographical and he said maybe he said it was just a bit of maybe me putting that sort of time or that date in um that made pe made people think that it was autobiographical but it wasn't now the opening track on this album which came in late 75 early 76 uh, is called uh, a track called that's why i love you and that was a single i honestly believe that should have been a big hit. It got played a lot on the radio, but it didn't quite catch, which is a shame because it's a beautiful song. But the whole album's full of great songs, great melodies, great playing. And uh, I remember at the time when there was a special um, in-concert program on the Old Grey Whistle Test featuring Andrew Gold. And um, Bob Harris actually said he thought that should have been a big hit, that particular song. 
but that's included in this box we'll get to that shortly there's the the, the second album what's wrong with this picture well there's lots of things wrong with that picture and it's great looking for the clues there's a whole load of things there that you think hang on that's not right and um, see if you can find them it does include uh, the track that, and the big hit single the first hit single you had in the uk called lonely boy it's a great song as well this is the biggie for uh, for andrew all this in heaven too uh, it's got some big hits on here never let us slip away thank you for being a friend and um there's some great songs, as I said on here, which, thank you for being a friend, was actually taken up as the theme tune for a, a very, very popular American series called uh, The Golden Girls. And uh, you see it in a lot of commercials as well now. It's a fabulous song. But uh, that was his biggest selling solo album. Now, we get to the fourth album here. This was his last album, I think, for Asylum. Again, a very, very good album, 1980. Uh, it's called Whirlwind. And there's some great songs on this. Again, features a lot of people who he's played with over the years. And uh, one of the things about and you notice about Andrew Gold is that although he actually writes pop songs, essentially, they are very much in the rock idiom, if you like. They're, they're, you know, there's no sort of, they're not kind of lightweight songs. They're really, really great songs. Now, here's another great record here. And uh, these are rarities across the years. So you get an album with a load of rarities that you, you know you just can't get anymore and some in fact that you've not heard before there you go on the back we have the tracks there and again that's a nice little addition to this box set which i i can tell you now you can order this from cherry red records in the uk the address will be running across the bottom of the screen from right to left i always have to think it's from right to left because it's backwards for me um but yeah so here we have um another nice little disc that's a live album and uh, again uh, live he had some great he had some great backing musicians in his band including Ricky Morato he used to play uh, live with him. I think Rick Morato also played with people like Peter Gabriel and lots of other people as well um, finally you get the DVD live DVD which is was actually the old great whistle test concert in early 77 you also get the promos for all the singles so you get the promos for things like Lonely Boy and also thank you for being a friend and never let us slip away it's a beautiful box set and it's available to order now from cherry red records and like i said the cream of the west coast musician sort of community are actually playing on this album along with uh, andrew gold sadly no longer with us passed away in nine, i think it was 2011 uh, great loss to the music world great loss to his family and friends of course but he left a wonderful recorded legacy and a lot of it is on this box. Do please get it. Thanks for watching.